is five faith facts about Donald Trump, Presbyterian who collects Bibles. So, Drew, have at it, man. You uh, you want to do this like one at a time? Yeah. If anybody has anything to say, if not, we can move on. Sure, absolutely. Just, yeah, we'll take it point by point. All right, uh, Donald Trump, the New York rich guy slash reality television star slash conservative news commentator slash real estate mogul slash hair disaster, <laughs> announced he will run for the Republican Party nomination for president of the United States on Tuesday, June 16th, to the faith fact machine. All right, number one, these are the five faith facts about Donald Trump. Number one, he's a Presbyterian. First Presbyterian Church in Jamaica, Queens, is where I went to church, he told Christian Broadcasting Network in 2012. He says, I am a Protestant. I am a Presbyterian. And you know I've had a good relationship with the church over the years. I think religion is a wonderful thing. I think my religion is a wonderful religion. Other famous Presbyterians who have run for the highest office and won include Andrew Jackson, Dwight D. Eisenhower, and Ronald Reagan, who grew up in the Disciples of Christ but joined the Presbyterian Church. Trump has also been a member of the of Marble oh, oh, Collegiate, Collegiate Church. Collegiate Church. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And uh, Reformed Church and American Congregation, and once the pulpit of Norman Vincent Pill, author Pill. of the Pill, author of the mega bestseller The Power of Positive Thinking. And a bonus faith fact here: Trump's paternal grandmother's maiden name was Christ. Wow, there you go. <laughs> so. Any, anything, <laughs> anything you guys want to say on that one? I don't really have too much to say on that one. The others I might, but... Well, uh, I'm surprised. I had not heard anything about Trump's yes. religious affiliation. I wondered if he had any, and I couldn't believe he wasn't asked about it the other day. But I cannot believe this guy is, though I like Trump very much, I'm hoping to be able to vote for him. Uh, I'm a, kind of an unusual uh, atheist. Yes, but, you are. Uh, I uh, <laughs> don't... Uh, I can't imagine any vestigial religious uh, sympathies he has would really make any difference. Can I ask what it is about Trump that you like? <laughs> uh, he's decisive. He's experienced in uh, a number of relevant ways, like the economy and so forth. Okay, he's not a mealy mouth wimp, uh, and uh, he's. Uh, I think he would actually get things done. Plus, he speaks his mind. I just can't stand yeah, these like mincing that. windbags. Uh, I think yeah. it's worth a risk. I, that. I mean, plus he's the best at the military. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. I mean, he's he's made. I'm sorry. He just says farm he policy. Says so, yeah. and, and being decisive is great if you're also like not. I, I don't know, ignorant or stupid on certain certain things. I don't think and, he is. I don't see any reason oh, to believe that. I, I think that it would be like if you look at Trump the candidate and the tweets he puts out and stuff like that. Oh my God! I you know what? I'll I'll go ahead and vote for Trump along with you just because I need material for the next four years. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to say. But um, no, I mean like I, I like I like Trump to a certain point. Uh, I I won't vote for him, but I, I think for him to call out political correctness is is okay. You know that's fine. Uh, he bashes Mel uh, Megyn Kelly and shit like that. You know, you can see the debates. They, their agenda, Fox News, on that debate was to pound Trump, man. That's all it was because, you know, yeah. he, he's he's the top person, man, and they don't like him. So, hey, it is what it is. So. Did you see the, the panel yeah. they put together afterwards? Um, they, they put oh, yeah. together a panel, and, and apparently out of the entire room of conservatives they had on this panel, none of them had a better opinion of Trump after the uh, – after the debate or something like that. But and Trump responded to that, of course, in tweets. He also called Megan Kelly a bimbo in a tweet. <laughs> um, like he just he doesn't he doesn't give a rat's ass and I can I can respect I like that. that. He yeah. is not mealy mouth. I, I totally agree there. I, and I respect him for that. But at the same time, I mean <clears throat> just being a loud mouth, I don't I don't see that as any kind of qualification. Not for a president and trying to uh, you know um you know, be the forefront of America for the next four or even eight years. I'm like, I just, I don't, maybe he'll change his attitude. Who knows? Uh, that's to be seen. Who knows? But, you know, I don't know. But, uh, Drew, you want to go on with number two here there, buddy? Yeah. One religion Trump seems to think is not so wonderful <laughs> is Islam. <laughs> in, the, in the lead up to the 2012 presidential election, Trump told Fox News Bill O'Reilly that there is a, quote, Muslim problem. I don't notice Swedish people knocking down the World Trade Center. Trump said, and then moved on to the so-called Ground Zero Mosque. I came out very strongly against the mosque being built virtually across the street. He also called for Barack Obama to produce his birth certificate. People have birth certificates, he told O'Reilly. Now, he may have one, 
but there is something on that birth certificate. Maybe religion. Maybe it says he's Muslim. But Trump assured O'Reilly <laughs> there are many fabulous Muslims in the world. And Trump berated political activist Pamela Geller for launching a Draw the Prophet contest in Texas. What is she doing drawing Muhammad? I mean, it's disgusting, he said on Fox and Friends. Isn't there something else they could be doing drawing Muhammad? That's the second point. So, not a fan of Islam. Uh, he thinks it's just and disgusting. Neither are we. We just spent the whole yeah, time, uh, time for the first topic shitting on Islam. No, I, so, we have that in common, I guess. Yeah, I agree with yeah. him. But uh, what it boils down to, yeah, there are good Muslims. Don't get me wrong. But I guess, you know, what I want to say here is, um, you know, when, when it comes to Pamela. Uh, Geller, yeah, she has the right man here in the United States to do what she wants. If she wants to launch a campaign to draw Mohammed or draw the prophet, so be it. Let her have it. Let her do it. I mean, like that's just it's just the freedoms we should uh, grasp here in the United States, at least. You know, I mean, it's all about freedom, freedom of religion, freedom of press, freedom from religion. You know, uh, I'm wondering why he said it was just, disgusting. I don't yeah, know. I I don't, I don't understand mm. that. I mean, he doesn't like Islam, but he's he's disgusted at them drawing a picture of the prophet that he doesn't find actual profit i mean what the fuck yeah it, uh, it doesn't really make sense it, it's it seems contradictory so yeah well it could be that like a lot of people he opposed it because it seemed like just gratuitous red flag waving in front of the bull and that it, it you would get the idea uh from the the uh, nature of the endeavor that people are going to make uh, Muhammad look like Goofy from Mickey Mouse or something, <laughs> yeah. and that could be seen as as just uh, sassing and ridiculing th their religion in a childish way. I, I don't happen to agree with that, but I can respect that viewpoint. There's something on that side, but I don't know what he meant by it. Uh, yeah. As long as he's against it, that against. Uh, obnoxious Islam that's okay with me. I, I did an essay on my blog, Zarathustra Speaks, where I called it I Slam Islam, and uh, I made the point that uh, though it is obvious most Muslims are not jihadi lunatics, uh, mm -hmm. there are, like let's say, uh, I think um, one um, Sufi scholar estimated that there it's like uh, maybe only 10 percent which means something like over a hundred million, million yeah, that's a lot. are in favor of jihad uh that's enough and and the rest of them they're dead weight as long as they're uh keeping quiet about it they might as well be in favor of it it's just like the germans in world war ii who weren't card carrying nazis but didn't much care what was happening that doesn't really mitigate the fact that is world islam has made it Self, our enemy. Um, I, well I, I can agree with that. Yeah, there's no doubt. Very well said uh, there. As a as a potential Trump voter, what do you think about the idea that he was a birther? <laughs> I I, uh, I know uh, to say this invites ridicule and shaming in our politically correct society, but I am used to taking a skeptical view of uh, partisan tendentious documents, and I have to think that if he that if he took so long before producing what is still a problematical birth certificate that there's uh, there's something wrong there just like he won't allow his uh, his grades to be released now why would that be unless there was something dubious about it I've never seen the stuff so I don't know but I don't think it's uh, I mean given the way Obama has lied about everything I, mean, I, I wouldn't even ask the guy what time of day it is because I wouldn't get the truth uh the he's he's such like clinton an unmitigated congenital liar that it would surprise me if he was telling the truth about the birth certificate though it's irrelevant i mean it's pointless he's president now and you know yeah. so it's a big to do about nothing but i don't think it's uh crazy to uh to uh, suspect that it's fake again who cares it's a moot point now. I, does, I don't, I don't does think that it is. does I'm that make as big a difference for someone like ted cruz ted cruz i was already saying yeah well i was wondering about that too but apparently if if i understand this right because his parents were american citizens even though he was born in canada he's an american citizen i yes. assume it was, that's it was just his mom his dad is a super nutty uh, cuban. pastor he's a, yeah, cuban. he's cuban yeah. so his dad is cuban he was born in canada but his mom was from 
America, you know, I think it was New Jersey or something like that. Hmm. Great. Um, but yeah, so that's how he got his citizenship. Much less of a hubbub about that all of a sudden. I think, I think it has a lot to do with, uh, and you know, blame me for playing the race card here, but being the first black president, man, a lot of people, whether they're racist or not, I don't know, didn't just didn't like it, and they, they're looking for all kinds of shit. Oh, he has to be a Muslim. Sure, his dad is Kenyan, but nobody's uh, accusing. Uh, Ted Cruz of being like a Cuban, a Castro guy or anything like that. They, they just, I, I see a lot of angry people looking for anything to grasp at. Looking for, yeah, strolls to grasp at. Yeah, and I saw it happening with Bush as well. Like, yeah. they, you know, during the Bush presidency, I was like, damn, the guy is fucked up a lot, but he's still become a scapegoat for like everything. And that's bullshit. It's the same way it's bullshit for Obama and the same way it'll be bullshit for whoever's president, ne president next that gets blamed for, for yeah. everything when they're they don't have control of of every fucking last right. little detail. Right. Exactly. So uh, that being said, I don't want to get too, uh, I don't want to uh, go too far into uh, politics here, but let's get on to Trump here. What's number three? Number yeah. three, number three is, is even better. He collects Bibles. Oh, cool. That's and, awesome. And, I said a lot in, this, in the same 2012 CBN interview, Trump said fans often send him Bibles and he keeps every one of them in a very nice place. There's oh, yeah, no I way too, though it's different translations. I right. just find it fascinating to compare them. This is interesting to hear. I don't know. Oh, yeah. uh, does he just stack them up, or does he study them? I don't. I have no idea. Well, I don't he know. Said, he, he says uh, there's no way I would ever throw any anything or do anything negative to a Bible. Mm. Trump said I would have a fear of doing something other than very positive. So actually, I store them. And keep them and sometimes give them away to other people. But I do not get sent a lot of Bibles, and I like that. Hmm. But I do get sent a lot of Bibles, and I like that. And hmm. I think that's great. Hmm. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. funny that he he's, thinks it's so great to be sent bi Bibles, but he doesn't sp like speak about religion really at all. Which is, I, I got to admit, I also find really refreshing and awesome yeah. from the, from the Republican too. Party. I, oh, true. I, it's, but it, it's awkward. I guess that's the point, is that it's awkward to have a Republican candidate doing so well in the polls that doesn't talk about God or any of that shit at all. And which I is, think that helps him maybe a little bit. Because oh, definitely. It's, it, it, you know, religion has no say in, uh, in, in uh, you know, creating laws or, or the Constitution. I'm like, you, I'm like, it's okay that you're a religious person and hold office. I'm like, listen, we got, we got uh, states in the United States that if you're an atheist, you can't hold office, you know what I mean? Mm. But for him... I, mean, I think that's a positive for the Republican Party, you know, that it's God, oh, yeah. God, God. And we see yeah. all the shit that's been going on about God. Like, uh, you, you you know, you can't bake a gay cake for a same-sex marriage or wedding, I should say. And, you know, abortion. All, and they bring God in the picture. I'm like, God has no say when we make our laws or, or it should never be implemented by our government. But, yeah. hey, he, I have a, a I have a theory Trump. here. I think maybe Trump's Bible collection is just all the Bibles that are in the drawers of the dressers in all his hotels. Hotels. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's funny. But I was going to say that uh, uh, talking about God does bring in some voters, too. Like, uh, I know my own mother, as stupid as Bush was, as fucking retarded as he was, she says, well, at least he believes in God. At least he's a God. You know, he's a he's a good Christian man. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sakes, really? Well, so that, well, that excuses him? Well, well we that's see, that's a big thing. I mean, he's if you're running if you're running for the candidacy of the Republican Party, you're not going to not mention God and Bibles. And he was giving this interview to a it was Faith something that he was giving this interview to. But if he's going to run on the Republican platform, that's that's like part of the deal. Well, well, the funny thing is, you see Trump at the top, the top. He's he's at the top right now. I don't know if he is now currently, but he was last week. You know. You know, maybe, uh, you know, a public opinion is changing, a uh, public view on, on Christianity or God or mentioning God in your political, um, you know, forum. I, I well, just think it's just... I, I think people I think are tired of I think times are changing. Yeah. I think times yeah, that, are changing. That man, whole, so. like, well, like Rick Perry, who's going to vote for a guy who says, it's out of our hands. Just pray about it. Yeah. Like, yeah, nobody right. wants to vote for well, that kind of guy. He was governor in my state for, like, 14 years. Because you live in Texas. Okay, Drew's, <laughs> Drew's family would. Yeah, my family would. I don't know. Uh, anyways, num num number four. four. He goes to church when I can, is what he says. Yeah. Always on Christmas, always on Easter, <laughs> always when there's a major occasion, Trump said in 2012. Then he added, I am a Sunday church person. So contradicting himself so, there. <laughs> so number four, he goes to church when he can. 
I, I, I just find this uh, funny, really, because to be honest with you, that's what majority of Christians, uh, so-called mo- modern Christians do. I mean, like, uh, my family, I know that. They make a big deal out of uh, Christmas to go to church and Easter to go to church. But other than that, hey, it's, it's open, you know? It's open well, there, season, there was so an old—you like, remember that show House, The Doctors and all that? Yeah. yeah. There's a really yep. there was a really funny quote that he asked because some guy and like they were doing one of their meetings or whatever they asked him he's like oh so you're an atheist he's like well only on Chris- Christmas and Easter because other than that it really doesn't matter yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly so. that's that's actually pretty funny it is anybody mm-hmm. else on that number four uh I had something to say but you forgot right I am totally spacing is that, so uh, is that number dope? number five Trump's daughter is it Ivanka that's how I think that's right Ivanka yeah Ivanka Trump Kushner converted to Judaism. Not only do I have a Jewish granddaughter, I have a Jewish daughter, and I'm very honored by that. He told the Jewish voice. <laughs> of course, that's who he's going to say that to. <laughs> oh, the yeah, he's, not gonna, the he's not, not going to say it to the voice. freaking local Muslim community. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Brian. Oh, my God. But there's not too much on that number five. But, hey, listen, man, that's, that's what it's about. It's about accepting your children for who they are. Many Christians don't adhere to that principle. They don't, you know, if they found out that their kid's gay, yeah, hey, you know, well, we're going to push you down the street. You know, you don't live in this house anymore. We do see that. No, they, well, they have a lot but, to just turn uh, and accept the young Cheney. Well, it's, uh, it's good that he accepts his daughter for, uh, you know, what she is, I should say. you got to so, love that shit. Yeah. They, like, the, it's like with Cheney, like such a literally, like, robot-hearted person. And he still found a way to accept gays and all that because his daughter's gay. So, I mean, that I part of the best treatment, I, or I guess to find out if you have any soul whatsoever. And this is coming from someone that doesn't even believe in a soul, but any bit of <laughs> kindness, uh, you know, in you is to accept your own child for who they are. And if you can't even do that, well, then you're just that special kind of douchebag and go fuck yourself. You're not even worth like talking to. The quicker you die, the better it is for everybody. Well, yeah, the other night, like, in the, uh, sorry, the other ahead, night folks. in the debate, uh, John Kasich, who I don't especially care for, but he was asked, suppose he found his, out that uh, one of his daughters was gay. He said, that wouldn't make any difference. I'd love her no matter what. He said just the other day he had gone to a, the wedding of a, of a, a gay friend. Uh, he said uh, he thought marriage should be heterosexual, but the Supreme Court had spoken, so he wasn't going to make waves about it. Yeah. He seemed very uh, moderate and reasonable about the whole thing. I was glad to hear that. Uh, that's, I think that's, that's why I prefer I agree, him yeah. over all the other ones. Yeah, I, I agree with that sentiment, no doubt, man. He, he did a very well job, and it was very well spoken, no doubt. Mm. I agree with that. 